The eyedropper tool lets you choose any color from your Photoshop Elements document and load it as your foreground color. The eyedropper tool is located near the top of the toolbox. It conveniently looks like an eyedropper or you might think a turkey baster but I don't want to confuse you. To use it, first click on it in the toolbox to make it the active tool. Then notice up in the options bar there's a field called sample size. From the drop down list which you'll see if you click on it there are three choices. There's point sample, 3x3 three three average, and 5x5 five five average. For most situations 3x3 three three will work fine. That's what I always use and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But first, let's see how to use the eyedropper tool. You use it by clicking with it anywhere on your photo and whatever color it is over when you click will be loaded as your foreground color which is located at the bottom of the toolbar. As you can see right now my foreground color is set to its default color which is black. So with the eyedropper tool selected, if I move over onto my image, whatever color my cursor is over when I click, I'll click now, you can see that becomes my foreground color. And if I click on the blue, it becomes blue and purple and orange and green and so on. The foreground color is, among other things, the color that the brush tool uses when you paint with it. It's also the color that the paint bucket tool uses to fill an area with. When you click over a color, it samples the color and loads it as the foreground color. And how it samples is determined by those three choices in the options bar that I mentioned earlier. If you have point sample chosen, it will only sample the color of whatever pixel it's over at the time that you click. Now a pixel is very small and if your eyedropper happens to be over a stray pixel when you click, you won't get the color you expected. That's why I set mine to 3x3 three three average. So it takes the average color of 9 pixels, the one you click on and the 8 pixels surrounding it, and it averages out those 9 colors and makes that your foreground color. So it's a more accurate representation of the color that you click on. And that's pretty much all there is to the eyedropper tool.